Yo, what up guys? So now we're going to be talking about some uh, strategies to uh, solve limits. And uh, we're gonna be going over five different ones here. So direct substitution, factoring, rationalizing, change of variable, and one-sided limits. Uh, some of these can get a little bit confusing, so um, make sure you follow me here. We're gonna start with the first one. The easiest one is uh, direct substitution. And um, all that means is that if we have a limit as x approaches a of some kind of function, well, if we can just directly substitute the a in the function, that's what the limit equals. Now, a couple of things to note about this strategy is that uh, it doesn't work. if um, the denominator when we plug in f of a equals zero. Okay, this doesn't work if the denominator of f of a, if we plug in f of a of a, some kind of function and the denominator is zero, obviously we can't use direct substitution because uh, the function will be undefined at that point. Okay, so we're gonna have to use a different strategy. Um, it also, this strategy also doesn't work if f of x is a piecewise function. Okay, so as we did an example before, if it's a piecewise function, then, um, then we'll have to make a table of values for each piece, graph it, and then we'll see visually whether the limit we're finding exists or not. Okay, but other than these two uh, exceptions, if you get some kind of a function where you could just directly plug in uh, A, and you get some kind of value, well, the limit is, uh, is just that value. So let's go over a couple examples. So the limit as x goes to 1 of x squared plus x minus 2. Well, this is a polynomial. If we plug in 1, it will be defined. So 1 squared, actually let's do this here. So 1 squared plus 1 minus 2, that's just equal to 0. Okay, so the limit of that will equal 0. Okay, what about another example? So the limit as x approaches 6 of the square root of x squared over x minus 2. Well, if we plug in 6 into this function, um, we won't have a denominator of 0, so we can go ahead and do that. So that's just going to equal to the square root of 6 squared over 6 minus 2 which will be the square root of 36 over 4. Uh, 36 over 4 is 9, so the answer will just be 3. All right, um, let's do another one here. The limit as x approaches 1 of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. Now notice, if we plug in 1 into this function, the denominator will be 0, right? Because if we plug in 1 for x, 1 minus 1 will be 0. So we won't be able to use direct substitution. We're going to have to use a different strategy to solve that limit, and, uh, and we'll get to that. Actually, the next, uh, the next strategy that we're going to go over, we would, use, uh, we would use factoring to solve this. So other than these uh, two exceptions, uh, you could pretty much use a direct substitution to uh, solve limits. However, as you saw, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. And because it's pretty easy, it's pretty rare that uh, you're gonna get uh, many limits where you can just directly solve it with direct substitution. Usually you're gonna have to use some kind of different strategy.